Benny Johnson and welcome back to for another iOS development tutorial. In this tutorial I'm actually going to show you how to make launch images. In the last tutorial we did app icons and you can see them here and we added both the retina display icon and the normal display we use GIMP to make them. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make launch images. Now you may be asking what are launch images. Well launch images are just the splash screen if you will uh, what for iPhone so while the application is loading you're going to see the splash screen now this is a huge deal with our application because it's quite small it loads quickly uh, but however with larger applications it may take 10 or 20 seconds to load up the actual app so launch images are quite important in that sense but we're just gonna do it for fun and I'm going to show you guys how to do it so you guys actually know it exists and how they work and so on and so forth. And I'm getting that jumpy thing again that's really annoying me. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Launchpad and actually load up GIMP. You can use, again, whatever image manipulation program you want. And I'll just make sure I've got the size of the launch image. Remember, we always start with the retina display size, so 640 by 960. So I'm going to go File, New. So 640 by 960. Right. Press OK. And there we go. That's how retina display. Alright, so I'm going to make the same background as I did with the uh, actual app icon so I'm going to select that hot pink I used and use the bucket to actually paint that whole background. Now I'm going to add some text so I'm going to select the text at icon but I'm going to switch the color around. I'm going to put it in the middle there and it's going to be a dollar sign again. I'm going to make the size really big. Yeah, uh, yeah that'll, that'll do. Uh, then I'm going to move it just about there. Yeah, that's about good. And I'm going to make some more text here. And it's going to be iBank. But this time I'm going to make it quite small. Right. That's about it. I'm going to move that new text that I got. If I can actually move it. To about the center. And yeah, that's about good. I'm happy with that. So you can see how quickly it takes to actually whip out some of these images. I'm really just doing a simple example. If you're going to release an application on the App Store, obviously you would take more time to line things up and make the things perfect. But I'm just showing you guys, so I don't want to blow you guys to tears. And while I'm talking about lining things up, I'm just going to move this down a little bit. I prefer it. Oh, it's stretched out for some reason. Yeah. I'm just going to move it down a little bit. And finally, he has grabbed the text. Alright, so I'm happy about with that. Maybe a little bit to the left there. And that'll do. That's our Retina Display app launch image. So I'm going to save that. And again, I'm going to save it to my pictures, the iBank. And I'll just save this as the launch image. Right, and I'll save it as the retina display. One, again, it's going to be PNG, so I'm going to make sure I select that PNG because sometimes it just saves it as its special file, and I don't want that. So I'm going to save that and merge layers, default settings, save it. Now let's make a normal size one, so I'm going to scale image, and this is 320 by 480, scale it down and I'm gonna go file, save as and launch image without that retina by extension, scroll down to PNG and save it 
export default settings and there you go we just made our launch images just like we did with our app icons I'm going to close this off open up finder and go into the pictures directory with the iBank folder I am then going to drag these images to the appropriate slots in this summary here so launch image there launch image retina there it adds it up here so I'm going to move these down here and there we go so let's go ahead and see our new results I'm going to get out of this See, you can see our nice launch image there, and it looks pretty snazzy. Uh, so, let's go to our normal iPhone application, and we've got our app icon with our title, we've got launch images that you just saw there, and there you go, that's how you make a launch image. It's pretty simple, however, it just adds a little nice touch to your application. So, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm actually going to show you how to implement those app icons and we're just about finished our full application so it's getting really exciting and you've just about got a really cool functioning application so I'll see you guys later and remember to subscribe. Bye.